going on everybody? Some of you may know me, some of you may wish you didn't know me, and some of you may not know me at all. Uh, my name's Farnham, and why am I in the kitchen, you may ask. I like to cook, my girlfriend loves my cooking, my family loves my cooking, and she just kinda like gave me the nudge to try this out because I feel like I've got some pretty bomb recipes and I really enjoy experimenting and putting a lot of flavor in my food and I just thought it'd be really tight to like share it with you guys and see if you guys like it, see if you wanna like try these at home or if you have any feedback or if you wanna call me ugly in the comment section, like whatever you feel is, is necessary. I don't know if we'll go past this video, this is just kind of an experiment to see if you guys enjoy this, if you like it, if it's worth making more and then uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll figure that out. Maybe it's a flop, maybe it's hot, maybe I have a Netflix series next summer. All right, boom. So uh, today what I'm gonna be cooking is a teriyaki salmon with like a lemon, lemon zest, veggie on the side, and then like this like sticky sweet rice that I make. It's really bomb. It's easy to make one portion, it's easy to make eight portions. I literally cooked this like last night for eight people and it took me like 35 minutes to do the whole thing. So it's pretty simple. The more you do it, the more calculated you'll be able to get with like the process. Like instead of like trying to do like five things at different times, you'll be able to kind of consider consolidate and make them all happen at once. We'll start with the rice. So I like using sushi rice. So I've been using this organic California sushi rice by Lundberg. It's really good, gets really fluffy, sticky, and then it goes really well with the sticky sauce. Like I hate when you get takeout Chinese rice and it just kind of like falls all apart because I always want to like throw like sweet and sour sauce on it or duck sauce to kind of like bring it together. But this kind of does it all by itself. So we'll do one cup of rice pour it in here and then we gotta clean this because it's loaded with starch. The more rice you do, the more cleaning you're gonna have to do. So I would say one cup is probably gonna take like three to four minutes running under the water and just like mixing it up. So I'm just gonna play some cool lo-fi hip hop right now and then show you some B-roll, so let's do it. All right, boom, so we just clean the rice. We're gonna do one and a half cups of water. One cup, nice. And then what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna set it on a burner over to the side and then we're gonna heat that thing all the way up. Boom, it's gonna click, 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 click. So yeah, we're gonna heat this up till it comes to a boil and as soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna knock that burner all the way down, real low, put it at a simmer hit it with a lid, that way we can steam it. And then we'll do that for 20 minutes. In the meantime, while that's getting ready to boil, I'm gonna grab the salmon that we're gonna use. Um, so what I like to do with the salmon is I like to use avocado oil. It's got a higher smoke point. I use this a lot when I do it on, uh, I cook on the flat top grill. Avocado oil's got a lot of healthy fats in it. Um, and it's, you don't get a lot of like flavor bleed with it. It's, it's pretty neutral. So yeah, I like avocado oil. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of like use the glove. Uh, if I was doing this on a grill, I would use a brush, like a little basting brush. Um, but since we're using gloves, I can just use the gloves. So I'll get a nice good coat on there and then I'll come over here and I already have my salt and pepper like pre-portioned. I just kind of do like a 50-50 mix of it. I use pink Himalayan and then just like black peppercorn ground it up. And then what I'll do is I'll just do like a dope little like coat on there. Um, I like seasoning, more seasoning, more seasoning. I like flavor, I don't like bland food. Um, so I try to take it there. I'm always experimenting, I like spice. My girl doesn't like spice, so I kinda have to chill when it comes to like making batches of stuff because she can't really handle the heat, hurts her stomach, but I like seasoning. We got a good coat on there. I don't know if you wanna punch in and grab that. That's a good little coat. I'm gonna throw this in the oven. 350 for 13 minutes. If you like your salmon well done, I would do like 15 to 16. I don't like dry fish, I don't like dry salmon. I found 13 at 350 gives me like the perfect cook. Um, it's still like nice and moist inside, but it's definitely cooked all the way through. It's hot all the way through and gives it a nice little skin on top. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna pop this in the oven. All right, so we've got our salmon in the oven cooking for 13 minutes at 350. I don't know if you can see in here, but this rice is coming to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock this burner down 
real low, almost to where you can like barely see the flame. Just put it on the lowest setting, keep it down to the simmer, hit it like that, and then instead of like a little timer, I always just set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay. 20 Boom. Minutes and and she's, Siri's gonna handle that for me. She's loyal in the kitchen, she does good. So now what we're gonna do, we got the rice going, we got the salmon going, we're gonna get the veggie started. So we've got green onion, I'm gonna chop that up, that's gonna go on the salmon at the end. We've got a carrot, we've got these little uh, pickled corn, broccoli, snow peas, a couple peppers, and some ginger. Yeah, this is gonna make like a dope little uh, lemon veggie medley, I guess you can call it. So I'm gonna put everything in a large, saute pan, I guess you call it. Um, keep that right there. So first things first, uh, we gotta break this broccoli up. So I'll just, actually, let me do it on here. Boom, break it into little, I think it's called florets. Um, I break them up just so it's easier to portion out if multiple people are eating. I'm only making one portion, probably gonna give it to, well, I can't give it to the cameraman because he doesn't like salmon. So I'll probably give it to my girl for lunch. Um, so yeah, these are broken up pretty well. I'm gonna keep this up here, top right corner. Put that on like a medium heat. I don't like to do it too hot because the broccoli takes a little bit to cook and it can burn if you have it on too hot. So then your broccoli's overcooked by the time you finish the whole dish. Had to go grab a lemon, obviously, because it's a lemon veggie medley. I kind of like to do Asian spin on things because I really enjoy umami flavors. Umami is kind of like a salty, savory, earthy flavor. So um, umami is definitely a flavor that I appreciate. I don't know if you could see, we got a little broccoli in there kind of like dancing around, the oil's getting hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the broccoli in there now. Probably get a little bit of sound going. Love that. So obviously the broccoli is the thickest vegetable we have, so it's gonna take the longest to cook. So we're gonna have the broccoli go, and then what I'm gonna do next, just because it takes a little bit of time, I'm going to shave this ginger down right here. So um, I don't really have a spot to do it, so I'm just gonna do it in the measuring cup because that's what I would actually do because, you know what, I'm just gonna be real. All right, boom, so I've got most of the skin off the ginger right here. Um, get this broccoli a little, little, you like that? That's pretty cool. We got our ginger shaved. We got the broccoli going. Also gonna shave this carrot real quick. Boom. So, carrot shaved, ginger shaved. Broccoli's going pretty well. Rice is good. Our salmon's in there for a few minutes already. So, we got this going. Let's go ahead and throw these in. These are snap peas, snow peas. I love them, they got a sweet bite to them. Uh, I'm gonna go off camera real quick, grab a couple more just because I love these things. Um, throw those in there. Add a little sploosh of avocado oil just to get things heating up. And now that the broccoli's got a good little cook on it, it's a little browned on certain portions. Um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of like mix this up real quick, nice. And then I'm going to just grab a lid. I don't actually have a lid that fits this. Frying dishwasher, great. So we'll make it work because that happens in the kitchen sometimes. So I'm just gonna throw that on there, try to get as much of it as I can under there. And we're just kind of like, let that steam for about two to three minutes. And then we're gonna throw some lemon on it. Uh, cut this lemon real quick, right down the middle. Nice, that's ready to go. And then let's do these peppers. I pre-washed all this stuff, so we don't have any uh, any pesticides. It's all organic, but you know, just be safe. These peppers right here, they add a little bit of flavor profile to the medley, and they also add a little bit of color. I like the smaller peppers like this because uh, you don't really get that many seeds, and the seeds are kind of a pain in the butt to clean. So I just kind of come over here and it's my little trash can, I guess. And then I'll just kind of like pull these seeds out. I'm gonna cut this pepper maybe into, I'll cut it into quarters, see how I feel. Again, I just kind of like eyeball things, try to get a feel for it. Um, this is the next thickest vegetable. All right, boom. So I'm actually gonna just cut that right down the middle like that. Nice. So what we're gonna do now, 
pull the lid off our broccoli and our snow peas. Add some color in there. Very cool. Boom. Give that a little, little mix. Look, it's already looking sexual. Nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, throw a little salt pepper on that. And then I'm gonna take half a lemon and then just give that a nice squeeze. Ooh, sounds great. Yeah, a little sizzle action. And then, I don't know if, if this is like, um, like a coin thing. I'm, I can only imagine that it is because I refuse to believe I came up with this, but I like just steaming them in the lemon juice. Like it just really makes that lemon juice soak into those veggies. Tastes great. Rice looks good. Bubbles didn't come out. Salmon looks like it's got eh, four or five minutes left on it. Uh, what do we have left? So we've got our ginger, we've got these little corns, we've got the carrots. So I'm just gonna run the carrots on this grate. I don't know if there's a, a name or a size for that, but just I would say the medium one, medium one. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and run this carrot along here. Just Salmon is out. We're gonna handle that in just a second while it's hot. Boom, those veggies look great. Steaming up nicely. What I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna throw the carrots on there. Boom, give that a little color, a little bit of life. So carrots, then we're gonna take the ginger. Uh, I'm gonna do the ginger over the finest grate on here. And I'm just gonna kinda get it going. And then, hopefully, usually I cut this with a knife, but I'm, I'm hoping that it's gonna kinda do its thing on here and not just get clogged up, which it seems like that is exactly what's happening. So, just a little bit. Um, let's try on a thicker one. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So yeah, I'm gonna grind up, I would say like, tablespoon of ginger, nice. Scoop it on out of there, wham, because that's what real people in the kitchen do. I'm gonna throw these corns on here. I add a little bit of soy sauce. Nice. Then we're gonna squeeze that other half lemon. Yeah. I love lemon. I like, I, I can literally eat a whole lemon by itself, like, like a piece of fruit, like it's kind of weird. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lemon zest. It'll give it some flavor, a good smell. A little bit of zest. We need a little bit of green onion for the finish on the salmon, so. Chop a little bit of that up. Not too much, we don't have that much salmon. Almost forgot, we do gotta throw some garlic in here. Um, usually I chop garlic, but in the sake of saving time, I'm just gonna throw like a teaspoon of garlic in there. Again, one more mix, that way we really like divvy those flavors up. I'm gonna let this sit for like 60 more seconds, take it off the heat. Rice is almost done. Now we're gonna make the glaze for our salmon. So, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, I got a bowl, cause just I'm gonna make this little teriyaki concoction. Um, took the veggies off the burner, took the rice off the burner. So what you wanna do with the rice you actually wanna take it off the heat for like five to 10 minutes and let it steam and fluff up. So my girl, like I said, she likes her food not too crazy, not too spicy. Usually what I'll do is I'll just take like a basting brush when the salmon's done and it's like hot out of the oven and I'll just go ahead and I'll baste the salmon with some teriyaki sauce. Uh, what I've been using is the Kinders. I'm gonna do like a quarter cup teriyaki sauce, then I'm gonna take Sriracha, this is Trader Joe's Sriracha, bomb. I love Sriracha sauce, it adds like crazy flavor to stuff. It's not just like Tabasco where it's like peppery spice. Um, there's a lot of flavor that comes with this. And then I'm just gonna add maybe like a teaspoon, tea to table, whatever you like, the spicier you want, the more you put in. Teaspoon of lemon juice, pinch of salt and pepper, even though there's plenty in there. I just like flavor, more seasoning all day. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix that little concoction up. 
Don't go too crazy on the lemon because then you, you can kind of water down the sauce a little bit. Grab an actual sauce for this. You want it to be viscous, you want it to be thick, kind of like, almost like maple syrup, maybe even a little bit thicker than that. It's all right, he's in the shot, but you know what? We're gonna make the shot. We're gonna do a cool slow-mo cut. That's why like, this is all positioned the way it's positioned. So cue slow-mo. Absolutely, I couldn't do this with a fork. Look, the skin came right off. I'm gonna pop it right on that plate. Beautiful. So the last thing we gotta do, uh, totally space on it just because there's a lot going on and I'm filming for the first time. Um, we gotta make our sauce for our sticky rice. So at this point, our salmon's done. We're gonna put a little bit of green onion on here just to make that look like nice and sexual. Nice. Um, salmon's done. Veggies are done, rice is done. It's just cooling off, fluffing up. Um, so we're gonna take some rice vinegar. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of rice vinegar and then I'm gonna do like two to three tablespoons of sugar and then a teaspoon of salt. And we wanna put this on like the lowest setting that we can get. So what's gonna happen is that sugar is gonna dissolve Right, and it's gonna kind of give it like this sticky consistency. The salt's gonna bring some of that flavor out. All right, get that sugar nice and dissolved. And then I'm gonna let this sit for like 30 seconds just so it's like not boiling hot. This is cooled down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this literally, shh, here, let me see if I can show you guys. I'm literally just gonna pour this straight onto the rice. And it's gonna have like a yellowy tint to it from the rice vinegar. And then we're just gonna mix this rice up. Give it a nice mix. And you're gonna notice, it's gonna have like a shiny coat to it. And that's just like liquefied sugar just like sticking to the rice. And that rice vinegar is just gonna add so much good flavor. You're just gonna mix, mix, make sure you get it all. That was actually like the perfect amount for this portion of rice. Okay. Hi. It smells so good. Hi. We were. I just gotta get um, glasses first. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Brief intermission. Brief We've also got a child on the side. <laughs> I'm the rose. Look at you. <laughs> so we're back. Uh, we've got our rice all mixed up, and then I'm just gonna give. Got a nice dollop right on the plate there. Right now we've got our salmon, our green onions. I don't know if you can, can you see all just like the flakes and the flavor under that sauce? It's so bomb. So we grab a pair of tongs, um, add just like a little bit more salt and pepper on there just because that's how I do things. More seasoning and then give those a mix. All that steam's coming off so it's still plenty hot. And then we're just gonna plate that right on the side right here. Ooh. So that looks so good. Boom, just a little bit more on the side. And then maybe like one of these little corns on top. And then, nice, that looks so good. I'm gonna actually cut into this on camera. I watch like a lot of cooking shows and like when they try it, I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. So I get to be that guy. I get to be the person that gets to try this and you don't, unless you make it. So I'm gonna give the salmon a try. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just give that a little, ooh. The skin has got like a good like crispiness to it. The inside is just like perfectly cooked. Like it's super moist, super pink still. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try the salmon right here. Mmm. Yo, I'm not kidding. Oh my God, that's so good. The spice from the sriracha that I put in, she's gonna be pissed because I wasn't supposed to put sriracha in it because I was supposed to make this as simple as possible. You guys don't have to do the sriracha thing. Oh my God. Amber, come try this. Yeah. <laughs> try veggies. So I made these veggies the other day. She said they were a little too lemony. They probably are again because, mm -mm. no, they're Perfect. good. Don't try the salmon, it's don't, spicy. It's, it's you spicy. try this though, rice is great. I thought you were gonna give me that, but I was like. <laughs> it's hot, careful. Okay. Oh, it's bomb. It's so good. So, That's here we are. 
This is where we're at. Um, obviously, a little bit of salmon with the rice. Mm, God. Good God. So, that's it, man. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Oh, shit, that's so good. That's so good. Um, again, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but the actual process to make this literally only takes as long as it takes the rice to cook. That's the longest part. So, just washing the rice, doing the 20 minute um, steam after it boils, and letting it sit for five to 10 so it fluffs up. That's the longest thing. You can do everything else that I did today inside the time that it takes that rice to cook. So I would say at tops, this is a 30 minute meal for yourself, for you, your spouse, you, your kids, your fan, whoever it may be. It's super easy to like, just like scale this. That's what it is, man. You know, Farnham here uh, in the kitchen, cooking up, saucing up, more seasoning all day, every day. If you guys like this, let me know. Drop a comment down there. If this is like stupid and a flop and pointless, let me know, because I won't do it again. I won't waste my time. But if you guys thoroughly enjoyed this um, and you want me to make more, more meals, more recipes, just like more experiments on camera, let me know down in the comment section below. Like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you know if I upload again, I'm definitely gonna be a little more personal in the next, uh, the next videos. That way you guys get to know me a little bit better and uh, see you next time. What's your name, bro? There's carrots all over my fucking shoes.